What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Kevin Durant with TarverAcademy.com, and I want to show you how to, you know, create some questions in a Google form. You're like, why'd you pause? Well, because I wanted to think of the best way to say it, and I did, and so nailed it. Okay, so you're in your Google form. You've created it. It looks great. It's wonderful. Everybody loves it. Okay, now you're in there. What you want to do is um, it's going to automatically give you one multiple choice question as like your default question. And so you're going to go over there and you can make it a, um, uh, which um, is the first letter of the alphabet. All right. And then I give multiple choice. I can say it's already multiple choice. So I can just bam, A. And you just hit return. All you do, like if I'm here and I want to get a new line, all I do is hit enter. And it'll bring me down here. B, C, D. Okay. That's a pretty clever question if you ask me. Okay. So now in, in that question, um, you have some options. Um, you can have right here that's going to duplicate it. Duplicate it. So if you like want another multiple choice question, it's easy just to do this, and then you can just fill it in. Um, that's going to trash it. Obviously, it's a trash can. And it makes sense. And then this is required. Um, if it's gray, that means you are not like the person filling this out is not required to answer this question to finalize or submit this form. But if you click that, now it's purple. Or it's actually going to be whatever color I think this is. I don't think they're all purple. I think it matches this. So I could be wrong. But if it's a color, that means that, yes, they have to do this or it will not allow them to submit it. So I don't care, really. And then you got some other options here. Um, we show a description. Go to base, uh, section based on the answer, shovel order. We'll look at that later. That's advanced little stuff. Okay, so to create a new question, if I want another multiple choice, I'll just do this. Boom. And it's going to just duplicate that one. Now, if I want to add another question and it's not like I don't say I don't want to duplicate it. I don't want to just start my own I hit this little plus sign over here to the right hit add question boom it's a brand new fresh question now it's multiple choice because that's our default but you would just click on this you can look around you can pick whatever you want short answer means it's gonna be like a small blank space it doesn't like they don't limit the amount of uh, of text you can put in there just because it's like short answer text it doesn't limit the amount. It just looks smaller whenever you're in there looking at the form. Paragraph, same thing, except for it's just going to look larger, like a paragraph, like you would run or write a paragraph. Um, multiple choice talked about check boxes. Check boxes, you can still list out. Um, you still list out different things, like like you would have multiple choice. But the difference between this and multiple choice is on multiple choice, you have you can only select one. Like if they're picking their answers, there's only one answer. Um, but in this one, it's going to let, let you do as many as you want. I can just type in letters on my keyboard, and it'll let me just keep going. Um, I like check. I like, like if you're doing something to where you want to select something quickly and you can select more than one, always go with the checklist. Um, this, if you know you can only select one, that's fine. All right, let's show you another version of a question. Drop down. It's the same thing, really. As ch as a as a multiple choice because you can only select one thing in a drop down, it just changes what you want it to look like. Um, I prefer checklists because or or multiple choice just because drop downs while they look good while they're compacted, it's always kind of annoying because it adds to an extra click that's not important. And so you would just like click the drop down if they're like viewing it, and then uh, and then they would just be they would have to click again to select it. With checkbox, you just click and you're done. Or multiple choice, click and you're done. Boom. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, and do change that to check boxes. Okay, and then let's do another question. Linear scale. That's cool. Where you can do like anywhere from one to ten. I think's the max, and you can have somebody rank it. So like, how hot is it? And you can tell them label like one is cold and then ten is burning. Up. Okay. Let's add another question. All right, we got multiple choice grid. Oh, this is crazy. It makes a, essentially a grid that you would be able to like check different things on it. Like it's it's crazy. I'll show you a sec. You really gotta see it to believe it. See it to believe it. Okay, and then boom, column three. All right, let's add another question. We're gonna add a date so they could pick the date, and then you could add another time. I wish that date like where you were allowed to like do a time and date on the same one, but I think it's only separated. So and then you do time. Okay, now see what it looks like. You go to preview it by looking at this little eye. 
Okay, multiple choice. See, it's going to only let me select one of those. This is another multiple choice. Um, here's a drop down. So you got to click and like add another option. Whereas a multiple choice of this, you just bam, you click it. Check boxes are not limited to how many you pick. How hot is it? You're going to pick on the scale from where to where. You can only pick one spot on those. Um, here is this is the column and row thing I was talking about. On this one, you do something like um, like if you're doing a survey, it could be like how much did you enjoy this leader's talk, or how much does this person doesn't know about what they're talking about. Like agree, slightly disagree, you know, impartial, etc. And then like you could do ranking scales. You can only select one of these per row as well. So it's kind of like you're ranking the level of this right here. All right, and then date you would be able to you know just get you the date and time. You pick the time, the end. Submit. That's what it looks like. Hope you learned something. Also, you look great today. Subscribe? Sure, why not?